Good morning, friends. I'm not a life coach. I'm not a therapist. I'm a mom. Courage to change. April 17th. Many of us have had anxious moments at work and around our families when it came to making decisions affecting others as a group. We'd worry, will everyone be happy with the decision? Surely there was one perfect way to do things and it was our responsibility to find it. Al-Anon has helped me to develop a simple policy about group decisions as suggested by Al-Anon's first tradition. Our common welfare should come first. This tradition applies to the conduct of our Al-Anon groups. But I find it useful in other situations too. If the group's plans seem designed to benefit the greatest number of people, I can usually support them. I don't mean that I ignore my own needs and feelings. I express them. But others have needs too and I must respect them. Such choices may not bring immediate happiness to me or to others, but ultimately we, all, we will all benefit. As the first tradition says, personal progress for the greatest number depends upon unity. Today's reminder, do I try to force my will on others in group situations or Am I learning to respect their rights as well as my own? I can feel secure in my opinions if I keep the group's best interests at heart. The quote is from the 12 Steps and Traditions. Quote, Unity presents not only the necessary climate for the growth of Al-Anon as a whole, but also the atmosphere in which each member within the group may acquire peace of mind, end quote. I'll read that again. Unity presents not only the necessary climate for the growth of Al-Anon as a whole, but also the atmosphere in which each member within the group may acquire peace of mind. Courage to change. Affirmations for the inner child, April 17th. It's on feelings. I feel and express my true feelings. In recovery, I seek safe places and appropriate ways for the child within me to express powerful emotions. While I was growing up, my parents did not express their feelings in clear and responsible ways. I learned to hide or mislabel my emotions. I felt anger when I was scared and sadness when I was angry. In recovery, I'm learning to express my feelings honestly. If I am angry with a friend, I express my feelings with an angry tone of voice and I describe their behavior and my feelings without blaming. If I am angry with someone I do not trust, I express my feelings privately. If I am sad, I may phone a friend and ask for comfort, or I may play sad music and cry as long as I need to. If I am happy, I may smile broadly or laugh aloud. Today, I will feel my true feelings and express them appropriately. Affirmations for the inner child. Well, friends, I hope this helps you on your healing journey. Follow your bliss and be good humans.